الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أدعو إلى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعظة الحسنة وجادلهم بالتي هي أحسن رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي I welcome all the viewers of the Peace TV Network that is the Peace TV English, the Peace TV Urdu, the Peace TV Bangla as well as the Peace TV Chinese as well as the people watching us on the social media platforms that is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God be upon all of you. Inshallah, we will be starting the session. Ask Dr. Zakir and his son Farik. Inshallah, we will be starting season 3, session 4. And Inshallah, I will answer to the questions that you have posed. So let's take the first question. My question is, will our du'as be accepted and granted in this world? There are certain conditions for our du'a to be accepted. The first is that we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. Our Lord Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Ida sa'alta fas'alillah That when you ask help, ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. We should not ask through someone. Many people they go to the graves, they ask the dead, they think that these people they will intercede on their behalf but we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly without any intercession Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is very close to us he is closer to us than a jugular vein and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 186 and when my servant calls upon me say I am near I respond to the call of the supplicant. So we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. The second is, we should know the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should know how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. If we know the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will be sincere in our dua and our supplication. The third is, that we should not be hasty in our supplication. Abla Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he responds to the person as long as he is not hasty. So we should not be hasty, but rather we should be patient when we are asking anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth is that we should not involve in sins, especially the major sins. The more sins we do, the lesser chances that our dua, it will be accepted. And the fifth is that our income, it should be halal. We should not involve in things that are haram. Our food should be halal. What we drink, it should be halal. Our Lord Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that when a person goes on a long journey and he's tired and exhausted and he calls onto his Lord, but the food that he eats is haram. What he drinks is haram. What he wears is haram. How will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond to him? So our income, it should be halal. So inshallah, if you follow these few criteria, there are high chances that our dua, it will be accepted. Now, as you said in your question, that will our dua be accepted in this world? There are three ways in which our dua are accepted. The first is that we are granted what we ask for in this world. The second is that we get something better in the hereafter. And the third is that a calamity that was going to befall us, it will not befall us. So whenever our dua it is not answered, in this world we should always have patience and we should have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will respond to us in the hereafter or a calamity that was going to befall us it will not befall us 
and many a times when our dua it is not answered there is good in it for example you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a bike for a motorcycle Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that if he gives you a motorcycle if he gives you a bike you will meet with an accident and you will die so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give you a bike so there is good in it so many a times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give what you ask for because there is good in it so we should always have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and even if our prayers they are not answered in this world but inshallah in the hereafter our prayers it will be answered and a believer he always has hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he always needs to do dua ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever he needs if his duas are not answered in this world he will definitely have his share in the hereafter and he will have something better in the hereafter we all human beings we should strive for the afterlife for the hereafter and if we don't get what we want in this world we will have a better share in the hereafter so we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he give us the best in this world and the best in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the hellfire